All right, here's the big theorem that we need for our real world application coming in graph theory four. The theorem says that a graph G is disconnected if and only if, this double arrow, this is if and only if, there is a way to label the vertices of G so that the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal. If and only if, this means that these are equivalent ideas. Okay, so this is equivalence. These are equivalent ideas. If a graph is disconnected, then there's a way to label the vertices um, so that the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal. Uh, if uh, it also, it's also true that if there is a way to label the vertices of G so the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal, then the graph is disconnected. All right, so let's look at, so first let's look at this direction. Here we're assuming that G is disconnected. So I'm just gonna go through an example here. I'm not gonna prove it, I'll prove it in the next couple of videos. But the, proof, but the proof is really just amounts to an observation, observing why this is true. So if a graph is, so here I'm going to start with a disconnected graph, and I'll show you that there is a way to relabel the vertices, so the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal. So let's start with this. So we'll start with, um, A disconnected graph. Here is a disconnected graph. Right? There's no way to get from the vertices of G1 to the vertices of G2. Now let's, let's write out the adjacency matrix. Okay, so starting with the first row, so that's starting at V1, at, at vertex 1. Vertex 1 is not connected to itself with an edge. It's connected to two and three, not four, not five. Now vertex two is connected to one, not itself. It is connected to three, not four, not five. Vertex three is connected to one and two, not itself, not four, not five. Okay, now moving on to vertex four. Vertex four is not connected to one or two or three or itself, but it is connected to five and vertex five, not one, not two, not three, yes, four, not five, not itself, right? And this, as you can see, is a block diagonal matrix. That's an adjacency matrix. That's an adjacency matrix. Those are all zeros. Those are all zeros. Right, this is, this right here, right, this is the adjacency matrix for G1. This is the adjacency matrix for G2. Right, they're disconnected. Um, there is a way, and, and this is the way right here. This is the way to label the vertices so the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal. Now, what I want to show you in fact is that there is another way that 
there are many ways to label these graphs. So let's change, let's just say, I don't know why anybody would do this, but let's just say that we, somebody decides that when they label these things, they label it as a four here and a three here. Right now, please note, note that this is in fact the same graph that I had before, right? One, two, three, four, five. These are the same graph, right? This, this entire disconnected graph is the same as this entire disconnected graph. All we've done is we've relabeled things. So if you relabel things, you might get a different adjacency matrix. So adjacency matrices aren't necessarily unique. It deter it's determined by the labeling, the way that you label things. All right, so now notice that if we were to, st to start with this disconnected graph labeled in this way, then what would we get? Well, let's see, one is not connected to itself. It's connected to two, not three. Yes, four, not five. Okay, two is connected to one, not itself, not three. Yes, four, not five. Okay, now there were three is down here, right? So three is not connected to one, or two or three or four but it is connected to five now four is back up here four is connected to one and two not three not four not five and back over here to five five is connected to three so no one no two yes three no four no five and as you can see that this adjacency matrix is not block diagonal. It's not block diagonal, right? So that's this whole idea with there is a way. I'm not saying that the way that it is originally labeled is the way to do it. But there is a way to relabel things if it's not labeled correctly at the onset, that it will be block diagonal. Um, and this really is just a way, it really just, the real point here is just you get different adjacency matrices based on the ways that you label the vertices. But as I said before, if I Take off that, if I relabel this thing now, if I relabel this thing in the natural way with a three there and a four there, then this is no longer my adjacency matrix. And I get the adjacency matrix I had before. that is in fact block diagonal. And remember that the labeling doesn't change the graph itself. The labeling is just a different name that you put on the vertex. It doesn't change the graph itself. All right, so now So that was one direction. So now let's see, let's say you start with a, so now we'll go the other direction. Here we're gonna, we're, we're, I'm gonna show you why, if there is a way to label the vertices so that the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal, then the graph must be disconnected. 
Okay, so let's say we have that. Let's say that we that, that there is a way to label the adjacency mate uh, the uh, label the vertices of the graph so the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal and here is that block diagonal matrix for that particular labeling Now, if we draw this graph, the graph that this adjacency matrix represents is in fact this graph right here. One, two, three, four, uh, seven, five, six. Okay, so block diagonal, so a block diagonal adjacency matrix gives you a disconnected graph. Now, I want you to see here why that is. Right, that corresponds to this right here. That corresponds to this thing right here. So the red of the the red block of the adjacency matrix A is this uh, thing I have in the red box G1, the dis, the that subgraph of my overall big graph G. Uh, the blue is of course bonds to G2 there. Right. So these two blocks they define parts that are separate. Right. They. Um, Because this, it really comes down to the fact that these are all zeros, right? These are all zeros here. These are all zeros here. I meant that to be green, but whatever. These are all zeros there, right? There's no um, vertex five, which would be vertex five. There's no connections to vertex one, two, three, or four. Right. So five doesn't go up to there. Uh, v6 does, has no connection to one, two, three, or four. V7 has no connection to one, two, three, or four. Similarly, V1 has no connection to vertex five, vertex six, vertex seven. Right. V2 has no connection to five, six, or seven. V3 has no connection to five, six, or seven. V4 has no connection to 5, 6, or 7. That's why block diagonal means disconnected.